Hello everyone, back guys here and welcome back to another video. How's it going? Everything okay? Good to have a good great day every day with a smiling face. So we smile a bit and keep continue. In this video, we are going to have a depth review on GoPro Hero 9 with buttons functionality. <laughs> In a first look, we can realize that the GoPro became bigger in size and battery and fortunately added front facing screen. That's very useful. On the top we have the shutter button and this small hole here is the microphone. On the left side we have the mode and power button and this is the drain microphone. This is not a door so don't try to open it. On the right side we have the battery and memory card place with USB-C port charging. For closing the door, just press it down from this side to be closed. And for opening it, just pull out the lock button. When you see the red sign, open the door. By the way, this door can be removed so easily. Just take the door and push it back side. That's it. To load it back, put the door on this small pin and push it. By the way, when you are going underwater, make sure the door is locked. Now you have the waterproof camera up to 10 meters. In front of the GoPro, we have 3 cm front screen. On top of the screen, we have a small status line. And under the lens, we have microphone. On the bottom, we have magnetic folding finger mounts. That's a very good idea and very well designed. Under the finger mounts, we have the speakers. On the back, we have a big touch screen with another small status light in a corner. One here, another over here. You know, when you are charging the camera with USB-C cable, the red light at the back and in front of the camera showing that the camera is charging or while recording. All right, let's turn on the GoPro and see what do we have inside. By single press on power button, we can turn on the camera. On the top left, we have memory card information. Then in the middle is GoPro modes. By swiping right and left, we can select the modes. Even though by pressing the power and mode button, we can change the modes too. We have three different modes, photo mode, video mode, and time-lapse mode so we can realize which mode selected next one showing the battery we can see how much of our battery life left these are the quick settings which depend on the mode we've selected now we are in photo mode here we have the zoom slider to zoom in and out this button is photos output and here we have RAW, Standard, HDR, and Super Photo. Next button is the timer. And here we have 3 seconds timer, 10 seconds timer, and off. The last button is related to GoPro lens. Here we have wide angle 16 to 34 mm, then linear 19 to 39 mm, and the last one is narrow with 27 mm range. This button over here tells us what are we shooting on. As you see, we are taking photo with wide angle lens. By clicking on, we can change the photo's shooting mode. Here we can choose photo, live burst, burst and night photo. By clicking on this pencil over here, we can customize any of the modes. Just press the shutter button to capture the photos.
Now let's go to video mode. Here we have a zoom button. But remember, we can use the zoom button before we start recording. This button is the shutter speed. Here we have auto, 1 to 60, 120, 240, and 480. And this button is a slow motion. After recording video, we can replay it in a slow motion or in real time. And the last one is the lens. Again, we have the information button here. By clicking on that, we can change the setting. Here we have standard, activity, cinematic, and slow motion. By clicking on this pencil over here, we can customize our video mode like 5K, 20 frame per second, and more. By the way, in each mode, we have this plus button. By clicking on this plus button, we can create our custom modes that we use it a lot. By clicking the shutter button in video mode, we can start recording. The last mode is time lapse. Again, we have zoom button, lens and duration, you know, how much you want to record, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 1 hour, or no limit. And the last one is the lens. Here is the time lapse setting, by clicking on that, we can see more options. By swiping down from top, we can see more setting. Here we have two pages. In first page, this button is the voice command. You know, just command to do the order. GoPro, take a photo. Or GoPro, start recording. GoPro, stop recording. Another good thing is when we are in photo mode, but we command to record a video, the GoPro automatically switch into the video mode and it starts recording. Look, GoPro starts recording. GoPro, stop recording. Now we are in video mode. GoPro, take a photo. GoPro, take a photo. Now we are in photo mode, but we command to record a video. GoPro starts recording. GoPro stop recording. That's great because we don't need to change the modes when we are using it with voice control. This button is beep sound, turning your camera beep sounds on or off. This button, which it has a picture of rabbit, is quick capture. You know, when your camera is off, by pressing the shutter button, camera automatically turn it on and it starts recording. Here we have the lock button. By pressing it, we can lock the screen. This button is grid line on and off button. It helps you to find the right angle while recording or taking photos. Next one is front screen setting. We can turn it off. Just seeing the status. As you see. Actual screen and full screen. This one is orientation lock button. You know, changing the screen into portrait mode or landscape mode. Mm -hmm. 
And the last one is maximum lens mode. In the next page, we have the connection and performance. You know, more settings. Finally, after recording and capturing the moments, by swiping up from down, we can see the photo and videos that we've captured. Here we can play, mute, mock, and delete them. GoPro turn off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. If you have any question or even a suggestion, please tell me in the comments down below. And like always, have a great shooty day. GoPro, turn off.